unapologetic. I said what I said. Unrepentant. When I am assertive, I'm a bitch. When a man is assertive, he's a boss. And unfiltered. If you want to say anything, you say I'm real. I'm Dominique the Diva. I am the number one most impactful. And I'm Shay Parker. Didn't I come here to impress you? Because to tell you the truth, when I leave here, I'm gone. And I don't care what you think about me. And we're not here to offend you. We're here to offend everybody. You were thinking it. I know what you said. I know. I know. So listen, we're dishing on everything hip-hop, pop culture, and all the bullshit in between. So get your panties out a bunch. And press play if you ain't scared. To Diva Unfiltered. Oh, cool. Why is that my thing when we start to like, okay, I don't know. I'm just like a drum roll, please. I'm just an energy person. I just let Tazi go off. Hi, everybody. We're back. Welcome to another episode of Diva Unfiltered. I'm your host, Dominique Diva. And this is my best friend and media queen, Shay Parker. But you can also call me Miss New Booty. Okay. I fell too. That has been the delay, everyone. That's right. Shay got a... Skinny BBL, she got a little. I did. Ooh, she got a little fat back, and she can finally I sit did. down. I she, can finally sit down, even though like I'm scared right now. I'm super nervous. Dom's <laughs> actually also sitting on a pillow with me. I'm that friend. <laughs> just so, just so that I'm not feeling left out. And but, so, yeah, yeah, we're, we're back doing today. How you? Feeling? How exciting! I'm feeling good. How's I'm that ass? Really good. The ass is doing pretty good. It's already moving like water. I promise y'all. We'll eventually debut it. But right now, only close friends is getting the action. It'll probably remain that way. You know, I'm not going to be shaking my... Don't think I'm going to be shaking my ass just because I got a new ass. I seen a little shakage on the right wink wink. That's exactly what she can't wait to do. You saw that on close friends. Uh, Summertime. I heard that summer 2022 (laughs) is about to be epic. It it's is. I, I'm getting ready I'm to getting. summer like I've never summered before. Yeah. Honestly, truly, I cannot wait for summer. I mean, honestly, we haven't really had a real summer for what, two years now? Yeah. Last summer was fun. I won't lie. We went to Atlanta. Yeah, we did. We had a lot that of fun. That was a blast. What else yeah, did we do? We had a lot of fun even without the whole like with, with travel like restrictions and stuff. But we now did. everything's, it's, I mean, the pandemic isn't over, but we're just like, everything's just... I mean, everything, I mean, everything is I, everything. I, I what, think it's over. I think whatever it's Lauren over. Hill said. <laughs> I think it's over. This is what she meant. I didn't know for a long time about that record, but I'm 100% sure. Everything is everything. So it's like, look, get it how you live. Honestly. Mask up, stay six feet, wash your hands, whatever. Whatever you got to do. Because I feel like this summer is definitely about to be epic, especially with Miss New Booty over here. Do me a favor. At I Am Shea Parker, make sure you put Miss New Booty and um, Peaches. Peaches. Emojis oh, in her oh, comments. Yes, yes. All summer. Okay. I would love that. How's your recovery you, been going, though? Recovery's been going good. The glow plastic surgery was so good to me. Shout out to them. Shout hey, out to Hoven and Dr. Santiago. Yes. Um, but I, I will have to admit that I don't see how you bitches do this shit two and three times over. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong. I'm in love with my results. I think I, I think I look great. I think I'm going to look even better as I continue to heal. But at the same time, it's such a long process and it's very high maintenance recovery that like why would you want to do this a couple of times. times i don't get that i think people just either they have like something that's messed up they're trying to get corrected or they're just not that, satisfied or and everybody's body heals differently that's why everybody's so body interesting to hear about everyone's experience with plastic surgery because everybody's body is different essentially just like pregnancy like yours is going to be going to be yours so i will say shay ha- does a great job at getting a massages like every yes. day and they'll be like two hour long massages and yes. she's just like you know knocked out on the table seriously i know what she's supposed to do dr santiago and even like my masseuse have said you know if you were in class you'd be an a student yeah because i have taken my like recovery very seriously because you don't go through all of this shit Mm. for you to then fuck it up by not doing you know what you're really supposed to do yeah but um i'm also an impatient person and i kind of feel like i should be like in a bikini right now and the shit just really doesn't work like that like you really don't know your real results until like six months to a year which is crazy yeah so why would i ever want to do this over and over again yeah i I may though like not saying that i wouldn't like if i needed to i would but 
Do I want to? Hell no. I don't want to. I hear that women say that all the time because when I got pregnant, I said the same <laughs> thing. I said, why I would anyone ever pregnant. do this more than once? <laughs> And I, every pregnant woman I asked, or every mother, you know, would say, you get over the pain, you know, and, and, and it's worth it. And so I say the same thing to you after you have a child or anything that might happen. You might be like, hey, I want to get rid of it. Here I am about to go into some recovery. But I think you've been doing a great job. And I think Shay looks great. Thank I'm you. asking her how her recovery is going for y'all. But I talk to I her every she's day. Been she's you been with me the whole way. Every she's single doing, week I'm complaining about something new. Yeah. Or she's happy, doing great. or like this happened today. Yep. She's doing great. She's uh, getting her massages faithfully, and she is just doing all of the Drinking things. My water. So she just has to be patient, and I'm sure she's gonna be happy with her results because the blow, the glow, oh lord, the glow plastic surgery um definitely took care of her just yes, like they took yes. care of me. And I'm honestly already happy with, with my results. Mm-hmm. I can't even fathom how I'm gonna look in June and July. I'm on you bitches' heads. Ooh. When I say <laughs> I'm on your necks, watch out for me. Like, if you don't like me now. Lord, they didn't let the wrong wow. one surgery. Wow. Wow. You've let the wrong one. <laughs> Just kidding. Not really. <laughs> but it's but it's been great. And it's been, it's also been a personal, like, character development journey for me as well Mm -hmm. because I have been so like transparent in my journey and I'm not like a super I am a private person but I would say generally speaking maybe like a few years ago I would have never like gotten plastic surgery you know publicly on social media but now I have like so much confidence and like I'm into I'm like ooh, like what is this experience gonna be like and like being able to share that like with other women and ask questions tell me about their experience Mm -hmm. it's been fun like yeah it's because you get to meet other like-minded women or other people they reach out to you and say oh my god you're helping me oh my god me too and that is definitely like and if you're not into it that's cool like this is a bad a bad bitch sport this is not a cheap bitch (laughs) sport you know what I'm saying it's not for everybody like it's not for everybody but for those of us you know who are with the shits speaking of bodies in summer i would like to see more like um what's the proper way to say like you know the certain physique that everyone's quote unquote obsessed with right now is a certain physique that's always been there for a lot of people in our community but i would like to see more women and more bodies that don't necessarily have that physique Come out this summer, be popping, okay, be cute. And I understand what they mean when they say, like, um, I don't know, they were getting on certain girls. It's like Baby Tate is one of the artists and someone else. Sometimes they try to say Megan looked chunky. I'm like, Megan looks fine, okay? She looks Megan fine. looks fine. Everybody is not gonna be a figure eight. And I just want all the, you know, figure eights and sevens or whatever to know that the summer is yours as well, okay? Even Lizzo, right? Even Lizzo, she got to do some, she doing her thing. You know Lizzo going to do her thing. <laughs> we already a, know. I'm not going to lie. That was a little bit of but a shady, I know a lot a shady more. question because really? we talk about Yeah, but my Lizzo thing is, often. like, I know a lot of other chicks that look like Lizzo. Like, it's, it's right, more right, Lizzo. Right, 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 right. <laughs> Oh, anyway, don't give me sign on that. I'm, 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 um, <laughs> I'm here for all of the different like body yeah, shapes I do and want sizes. Them to, doing their thing. Yeah, exactly. I know people get sent said they get tired of seeing the same bodies. I'm like, well, where are you all at? Like, who was it not too long ago that was on stage? You guys are, no, I it was the, B Simone. It was, it was B. Simone. actually yes, B Simone. It was what B is, Simone. She looks fine. And like what she was saying, about? like, oh, I know that I'm shaped this way, and I'm like, you're not shaped bad. Like, we're, that's bad. That's bad shaped. Is the, that what it is? I don't know. And but she I looked I feel like if fine. you're comfortable with how you look, you ch- like, that's that what should I be say. cool with everybody else. Exactly. Too. That's what I'm saying. The girls that are actually out there that are really comfortable with how they look. And even if, you know what I'm saying? If you're not the necessarily figure eight physique or whatever, come out and be alive this summer and let these bitches know what's up too. Because it's just getting real weird out here. You know, you know what? I think what it also is, is that like for me, when I went on this journey, I did not have like a set look mm-hmm. or thing that I was going for, like this image or perception that I was that I was going for. Mm-hmm. Like I knew that I wanted certain parts of my body, you know, improved. I know I wanted my hip dips filled, but I didn't go in saying like, oh, this girl, like I want like I want her body. Like oh, I yeah. want exactly that. Like, and I think sometimes like women 
or I mean, people just in general get fixated on this particular image or look that they go through mm -hmm. all of this like over and over and over again, mm -hmm. or they pick mm -hmm. at their body or feel like something's not right. Mm -hmm. Or just because you want improvement doesn't mean you don't love your body. And if you don't like something doesn't mean, you know what I mean? It, it's fine. Like it's right. okay. If B Simone is okay with being, with How looking the looks. way that she looks, why is ev why is everyone else yeah. so invested in it? That that be my part. Like yeah. I don't understand that obsession and like the investment that we have in so other people go to being comfortable page. with how they live their life. No, but you can go to your page. You can even talk about it with your friends. But like, no, I'm to actively about engage in comments with people or like bashing people, making people feel bad. Like that girl, all she did was walk the red carpet, y'all. That's it. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like the people that, why do you feel so comfortable with coming under my page and telling and me that I look shit like that? Way. And that's why I love that TikTok when she was like, "I ain't Beyonce. I don't have status. I will clap back." <laughs> okay, <laughs> I feeling if I got especially time. if I got time, if I got time, if I got time that day. Okay, especially if I got time. Consider yourself lucky. Uh, anyway, uh, speaking of someone else, we know. Um, what used to clap back, but she is a changed woman. Miss Rihanna Fenty, Robin Rihanna Fenty, Bad the, the, the billionaire. Okay. Yes. And the Barbados bombshell billionaire who is pregnant and with child. And unfortunately, you no, actually, fortunately for you guys, Rihanna isn't the old Rihanna because she would have cussed all y'all out on the internet this week. <laughs> but it's rumor she that her man that. cheated on her with Amina Mahdi and and, and all of this comes from a random Twitter account and the tweets went viral. And here we are all over the news, all over the blogs. And Rihanna's just getting ready to go on a flight to Barbados with her family. She you know why I'm really upset, though? Because if we thought we weren't going to get any music before. <laughs> oh, you yeah. you Negroes are definitely not getting any music now. Never. I'm upset. You never know what we may have been on the brink of before <laughs> this happened. And we all know Rihanna is petty like that. Rihanna, like, forget y'all. I don't. I don't have to. Not do that she's probably worried time. about any music right now, but we don't know what she may have had in the can. Yeah, because I did. We don't know. I did see her do an interview where she was saying something like the direction or what she, you know, was working on or whatever. Allegedly, like now she's not feeling that anymore, so she might have to switch it up. So she might have scratched what we thought we were getting, like the whole reggae thing. I mean, she was mm -hmm. working on something because Pharrell did confirm that, but. Yes. He said it was like... I mean, the girl is never shit, not so. working. She's never not working. And yeah. it's just unfortunate that like something from some random Twitter that has no credibility, no just popped out yeah. out of nowhere, says this rumor. And now we're all like, oh, my God. Almost as if we want this type of story to be true. And I think well, that's the sickening part that's about the sickening, our culture. That's exactly the sickening part. Because if it's more entertaining, we'll just believe that and... And, and go about our business, right? Headline culture as well. Like, I'm not reading into anything. Any any tweet can be made into a meme that can look like a headline, right? And so we just read the headline, and then we might read a little blurb, maybe. And some people just take what they read and go on about and the their business, and, and they're about like, about oh, business. he cheated. And now this pregnant woman has to hear that, and he's probably been right there the whole time. Well, who knows? Who knows where, where it came from? But it really sucks how, like, sometimes the industry can seem very high school because of social media, you know? Yeah, and it's I like, don't even oh, think it's shit. the industry. I think it's social media. I don't know. It's a great tool that we have, but it's also just so exhausting in the fact that, like, the negativity that spewed on it. Fast. We wanted this to be true. This is why it blew up the way that it did. If yeah. we didn't want it to be true, it would have stayed in the deep, dark depths of Twitter where nobody even knew, like, what this account was. But the fact that it has something to do with, like, it grew you know, legs pregnant, like that. you know, and... Yeah. Yeah. My thing about it is so many women, at least, like, were, you know, a majority of the consumer that yeah. engages in this type of content. We don't want to be cheated on pregnant. So why would we? Oh, I feel like that's the worst. We, do we love Ri or cheat. do we not love Ri? We love Ri. And let's just say you're a trash ass nigga if you treat cheat on your girl while she's pregnant like, person you are like what the fuck is wrong with you like <laughs> it's crazy what you niggas are into it's crazy that is like, really the worst a woman time. carrying your child do you even you can't even fathom what that shit even really into i hope in the next life men can give birth that would be great in the next life if men could give birth that would just be amazing that would be great 
They wouldn't be able to do it. Like, they wouldn't even be able to go through. He says, we don't want that. No, they wouldn't and even. men could give birth. Oh, my God. They would have such big egos because they give yeah, like life. You, you bring life into the world. Everyone's here because of me. Oh. And you know what? And you know what? And I'm going to take it there. And you know what? I'm going to take it there. <laughs> uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. I always uh-oh. think about if men had, like, what? Like, like two holes that can be penetrated like we do because then they would always want to fuck two women at one time they would always have an excuse to say oh well i can do that because (laughs) it's already bad out here girl because they're they're all about power they're all about power they're all about power and that would just feed their egos if they could give birth and they and they were but set why, up the way but we why did. would we want any more of that they only have one hole that a lot of them don't even use what do you they, or they don't they you know like it's not penetrated well they do have two <laughs> holes but you know what i mean never mind this conversation <laughs> is way too unfiltered we need an unfiltered meter on the side that's like dinging right now like, oh my ding, god ding, ding. It needs to be now we're tin. getting into like dp porn and it's getting crazy but i i which is my favorite kind anyway they could not even way. last during the <laughs> menstrual cycle okay like a full I I want that for men. Body cramps, cycle? menstrual cycles, birth. And I'm talking about the symptoms two months before your Endometriosis. Period. I want them to feel all of it in the next life. In the next life. And then we'll deal, we'll deal with the bull balls or whatever the case. Anyway, I don't know how we got there. That's pretty easy. Let's really back in. Let's talk okay. about men. Men. Cam Newton. A woman for me is handling your own, but knowing how to cater to a man's needs. But you can't cook. Okay. You don't know. You don't know when to be quiet. You don't know how to allow a man to lead. Bring yourself one down here, all right, and just bring it on in, Cam. All right, it might have came out a little funny. Real bitches understood what you were saying though, because some of you hoes can't hook. Okay, them niggas is tired of pizza rolls, and tired of Alfredo, bitch, and we tired of him texting us for a plate. So we don't got enough aluminum foil for all that. That's my take. And I mean, I don't know. Do I want to say this? <laughs> They and may they may call me a they may call me a oh, pick me. Are you a pick me? <laughs> she wanna be chose. <laughs> here it is, here it is, here it is. Let's Listen up, it. guys. Let's have it. My pick me cancelable moment. How about Cam Newton? What's wrong with wanting to know how to cook? <gasps> I don't know. I don't know. I don't oh, know. Oh, I don't know. What's wrong with wanting to know how to cook? I mean, some, I don't want to. I would like to know how to cook for my nigga. I want him to be eating good. I want him to be like, babe, this shit tastes so fucking good. I want to eat your pussy right now. Yeah. Like, that's how good this shit tastes. I want to buy you a Chanel. I want to buy you I a I want to take you on a set. trip. This shit crazy. <laughs> what, what is this? What did you put in this? I stay here. Yeah. You're not going anywhere. I stay and here. No I one said. I put a tracking device on your car. You know what they say. The way to a man's heart is to his stomach. I don't, I don't see the problem with the wanting to have that characteristic now if that is completely not you if you are a woman that i know women who don't cook and they're very good at that's what i wanted to say (laughs) they're excellent at other things plenty of bad bitches who do not know how to cook as well that was not some that was not what we was talking about let's bring it back to the (laughs) argument on what was said Mm. what words were said and not what is implied here he was talking about a certain group of women if you know how to cook then you a baddie that's what's up if you don't know how to cook cool and like you said they'll be great in a lot of other things a lot of those chicks that's like i don't cook like that <laughs> but i could buy you whatever you want from uber eats what you want babe do you want or not even that <laughs> like they may not <laughs> they may want? not cook but they may be like a great support system like or a great women, baker like, or, make, or make you cakes. know just just people women can be good at other at other things this Make is this is where my problem comes in to like the discourse like on social media or just in our society mm-hmm. about this conversation. Mm-hmm. I think for us, it's a little off base because for me, those type of women who don't know how to cook are literally not in my circle. I don't. Yeah. I didn't so, even know that it's so many that exist that like it's a conversation. Yeah, exactly. Because like the women that I know, literally every single one, maybe one or two don't know how to cook, but they are literally like so amazing at all of these other different things that it's not even a thing that they don't. Yeah. That they don't be in the fucking kitchen fucking goddamn bringing out the adobo and the goddamn Italian seasoning and the goddamn balsamic vinegar and mixing it with the balsamic. What you making? You know? What you making? Girl, I'll be in the, I'll be in the <laughs> kitchen cooking. I actually enjoy cooking. I like eating good, but I don't. What was the problem? 
Um, and how did Britney and how did um, Aisha get into it? Now they didn't even know. have nothing to do with. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I think Britney inserted herself <laughs> in it. I, I don't. I don't really know. But I have to say, I do understand what he was trying to say. There's nothing wrong. The whole cooking thing. It was the messenger. Wrong with that. It was the messenger. Maybe. Maybe it was the messenger. If I just Russell want Wilson would have to- said it. It would not be all of this anger, but because it's Cam Newton and he has what, how many kids and like didn't marry his baby moms and has been caught up in like different things and, you know, doesn't have the squeakiest of cleanest of records. Let's just say that. Yeah, I'm not judging. I'm just saying I think it was the messenger because if Russell Wilson was on a podcast and they asked him like, what if this was the question? Russell, what do you feel like a whim, a woman needs to do to like get a man like you? Everyone's always asking for Sierra's prayer. Like, yeah. how do you feel? Like, what do you, you think You need a to woman cook and do? shut your mouth. You know, sometimes... Everybody was like, what if you say? What if you say? Sometimes women, you know, we just want a home-cooked meal. We want you to know how to cook. You don't always got to be a bad bitch. Sometimes we just want you to know how to cook it. No, when the... Sometimes you just be quiet what? sometimes. Yeah, everybody we'll be like, like, Russell, Aww. I'm going to do that. I'm going to be quiet I'll next be quiet time. for you, Russell. But because Cam... <laughs> Newton said it. <laughs> now, what woman really wants to be quiet for Cam Newton after well, all of what we know about him, of what we think has gone on? But in his what life? woman wants to hear "be quiet" anyway about anything at any time? Yeah, that's rough. And and, and we don't want to hear that. But and sometimes we have I want to be quiet. Times we have a hard time <laughs> taking that type of critiques. So yeah, we don't that, we women? We true. don't want to hear that, that we need to shut the fuck up sometimes. But the truth is. We need to shut the fuck up sometimes. That's true. That's okay? true. That's true. That's true. And, and me a lot of times. More yeah, often me, than me not. Too, me too. Me too. Me too. Uh, be here in my life. But, yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, like, we talk <laughs> all the time. Think about bitches filter. like us. We talk all the time. Like, we you know, so, 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 when I do shut the fuck up, that means there's a certain level of comfort, respect, emotional, and physical security uh-huh, that is also there in that Ooh. space for me to feel like, okay, let me just listen and shut the fuck up. Okay, but... It was a few things there. Do they understand what that means? I don't know. Do they understand what that means? Maybe they have never felt that. And so that's why immediately when you hear him say, sometimes y'all need to shut the fuck up, they're like, ah, 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 ah. Maybe that's, maybe they don't. Maybe they've never met that. Maybe that is what we are working towards. <laughs> I'm just observation. Sometimes, believe it or not, I do shut the fuck up. Because I know also that I'm with someone who, um, Pays attention to the room, you know. I always have to be on, so I'm not paying attention to the room the way my man pays attention to the room. Right, right. You know what I mean? And maybe I do need to stand over here. Maybe I need to move over there. I don't know. Sometimes you just got to move and don't ask no questions. Yes, this is true. If you know that person has your best interest at heart, emotionally secured, physically. And has that ability, absolutely. But... I don't know, but I do know that a lot of women Cause y'all be like shutting up when y'all be... men be cheating on y'all. Why you can't <laughs> shut up sometimes when it's other stuff going on? You shut up, man. Okay, Cam. I'm just saying. Uh, I'm just saying. But... Women know how to shut up. They do it all the time. We do it for who we want to do it for, huh? Just shut up, do who you want to shut up for? Absolutely. Well, like, but you shut listen. up for Cam Newton? I guess not. Huh? And they would shut up for him too, more or, than um, like. Ugh, probably girl, girl, girl. oh, oh girl, girl. <laughs> honestly though it's so funny too though because like i just remember that's like, our pick me cancelable moment <laughs> with um like you know with certain artists or whatever you would see you know the fans being a certain way and assume that you know when you're doing meet and greets or whatever you know with the station and then the artists will come in and everybody had all this energy before and i'd be like he's right here say something and they don't really say anything or just how this week everyone we did this topic on the Quicksilver show and every woman that called in agreed with Cam Newton and so then I really didn't understand a lot of the outrage it's crazy how fast something can be said on a podcast and the headlines is misogynist sexist Cam Newton says and that's how fast that it went that was wild but again everyone <laughs> in real life wild. everyone called in and was like yeah he's absolutely right y'all need to know how to cook and that people who have been married for 20, 30 30, 40 years will tell you that you need to know how to cook and you need to know how to shut the fuck up sometimes. <laughs> Even the men know that sometimes they need to shut the fuck up. And let up. us think we're right. Sometimes. Like we are. Right. Absolutely. Both so people got to shut the fuck up sometimes. That's really the, that's really the I mean, but when Brittany fired off her tweets, she did, points were made. What'd she say? Points were made. I didn't see her tweets. 
I mean, she was just saying like we're 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 saying these things, but then a lot of times you cheat on your wives with oh. these bad bitches who don't know how to cook and mm-hmm. well, y'all are these, fun. These bad bitches wouldn't be glorified if if. Someone wasn't I think glorifying they're glorified them. for different things. I think that men look at women, of course, like I think that men like mm, I don't know if I can get they to the point. They don't look fast, at us as multidimensional. But a bitch that he will fuck means. is not gonna be the same bitch that he could wife. It doesn't always mean that. It does not always mean that. No. Now you can value that however you wanna value that, but that don't mean like that doesn't mean that. I, right. I do think I do think that most men don't see the majority of women as multidimensional beings. Mm-hmm. I think they see women as very one dimensional until they meet certain women that they're like open them up to like, oh, oh you can really like, be a lady in the streets, but a freak in the bed. Yeah. Like, I don't <laughs> think that in generally speaking, that they view women as like multidimensional beings that can be yeah. different things at different times, because. I feel like the way that some women look at Britney Renner, for instance, the way that I look at Britney Renner, like, yeah, I do think she's a little off. <laughs> I think there is something there that isn't quite right. But at the same time, I think that she's a very smart mm-hmm. woman, very like smart. as well. I don't necessarily even think that like she's like overtly promiscuous. I, I think, think it's so. the perception yeah. that like is on social media, like what her promoting a book and like doing all these things but I don't think men see her as that I think they just see her as another groupie bitch who's trying to come out with a book which you can but I think she's actually a it's very smart I don't girl. feel any type of way about Brittany Renner I can say that um sometimes I agree with her sometimes I don't I can say that I think she's interesting so I so I be tuned in sometimes I, tuned I don't in. follow her but in. when it's you know because sometimes her? no I don't follow her Oh, I thought you said you unfollowed her. Oh, no, no, no. you don't follow her. I don't follow her, but, you know, I I think she's interesting, and I think she's smart and dumb at the same time. Yeah, like, (laughs) multidimensional. You can be multiple things at one time. Like, for instance, like, I know, I'm not going to say any names. I Like, I'll just say that I know some women who are literally psychotic when it comes to (laughs) men in relationships like literally they are not fucking right in the head like they are literally out of their minds but they are the most bossiest like career driven women ever they're very giving they're very nurturing but they're legitimately psychotic yeah, because you're different in your relationship you can be different things. than you are. Well, you can be different things and you're different like romantically than, you know, a lot of your other like type of relationships. That is like, true. you know, the niggas like to, 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 the, to, the, to his homies, he's a different man to his homies than he is with us. I will forever be that way. You know what I'm saying? Like, That's really, true. those stories are funny. <laughs> those stories are funny. But Cam, Cam, listen, we want to give you a hug. Because you ain't really for this man. that wrong. Somebody cook for this man. It sounded like somebody who was hungry and just needed if a Russell, good If Russell would have said it, if Russell would have said it, we would have all been fine with it. He need a little, he needs some smothered pork chops and gravy. He probably don't eat pork chops no more. Because he's rich now, so. He need a little smoked salmon and somebody cook for this man. The way he be dressing, I just want to know. You know what Have I you seen know. it? No. Have you? Mm. I don't know. <laughs> Not really my type. I don't think it's floating around on the internet. He is considered what a high value man. Is he? I guess so, right? Yeah. I have been depicted as something that I'm completely not is what he's saying about his. Actually, he's very handsome now that I'm sitting here looking he at him. He is handsome. He is Look handsome. Look at that dimple. I mean, I think you have to get into the outfits. Like, if that's your thing, it's your thing. If it's not, then it's not. Like, mm-hmm. you know. But I think he is a very attractive man. Like, Yeah, I know that in that same clip that was not viral, he did say he didn't want to continue talking, you know, down or make it seem like he was talking down on his black queens. He was just making a point uh, in that moment. But I think that we make exceptions for a lot of things, you know, um, as far as like who, like you said, if Russell Wilson would have said that or... Idris Elba or any other band that we you know have Ooh, dreamy eyes over some bitches would have been like okay I'll cook daddy I'm gonna make the tacos I'm gonna cook I'm gonna clean I'm gonna shut the you fuck up you don't want me to say nothing okay <laughs> I know I would I'm not gonna talk again till 6 o'clock tomorrow morning okay, I'm a mute <laughs> what like what are we talking about and honestly <laughs> if you wanna fuck with someone who is like an athlete like a Cam Newton and let let them lose the game you better shut the fuck up. You better be <laughs> quiet. It is all about them, this okay? On the field, off the field, practice, diet, workouts, two-a-days. And so if you're not going to shut the fuck up and cook around here, then what are you around here And for? deal with some cheating. 
<laughs> what, just a little bit. Just a little I bit. I love it. She is. Yeah, should now, you was not the one that he was talking about no, in the first place no. at all because y'all's not even gone. And mm. you shouldn't even be offended. No, no, no. You and that's how I offended. feel though because even when I try to dabble into, you know, dating a professional athlete, I had to let him know, look, you want to date a girl that just want to be your girl. And that's all she want to do. That's fine. But I'm not a girl. I got a lot of other stuff I want to do at this time. My issue and is. I, and I talk too much. I'm not going to shut up. My issue is, is that I'm not really a sports girl like that. So and like, I don't know what's going on. I don't really want to be at your game. That's yeah, I don't know what's that going I on. ran into. It's like, I don't really know what's happening. I'm on my phone. You're upset because I'm not paying attention. And it's supposed to be like, And yeah, you're clapping when the wrong I don't team. even know what the fuck is going on right now. Like, I'm just kind of here. I'm you would figure it out if you had an You would have to figure it out. It would be like your entire world. Like <laughs> you everything, probably invite somebody else. Everything. Yeah, you would have to. You know, they want to talk to you about what's going on, like what's going on. I'm like, I literally have no idea what you're fucking Not talking your thing. About. So what is your like, what is your, do you have like a dream profession? Because you know they have a list of professions not to marry, not to date. There's been another girl doing TikTok videos I about. I saw the TikToks. What profession, like I didn't know all of that, lady. Girl. Um, I don't have time to park it there. But um, is there a profession that you absolutely would not marry? Um... To be honest, and I feel like a lot of our friends are going to be mad at me for saying this. I've said this before. I'll say it again. Would never date a DJ. <laughs> Would never date a DJ. Would never be in a serious relationship with a DJ. I love all of my DJ friends. Y'all know who y'all are. I love y'all. And I really don't think that they're bad guys or anything like that. But I do think just the lifestyle is just, mm -hmm. it's Mm -hmm. It's not gonna work with the with a woman yeah. like me. Yeah. It's just not gonna work with a woman like me. Maybe a different type. It just not with me. Cause like I'm kind of there too, but I'm not. So I know what the fuck. It's it's not gonna yeah. work. It's not gonna be a good time. If you still want to be on your bullshit, it's not gonna be fun. It's not, it's not gonna, gonna be, be fun. fun. It's gonna go to hell very quickly. Yeah. It's gonna go to shit. I think I like yeah. that's just kind of what that is. Now if you're over it, that's cool. But it's just like. You play the music. So, like, you, you literally, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're literally, like, moving the part. You're almost like God, like, in a sense to, like, it's it's Shit. just crazy. God. It's crazy, like, what, what I see hey. happening. And the God is like, now, how did I get no, in no, this? <laughs> I'm just saying, like, it's, like, it's essentially like being a celebrity, a professional athlete, or, like a you know, what have you. But at the same time, like, I wouldn't want to rule out any professions because I do believe it depends on the person yeah i've never dated a dj i've never slept with a dj i know some people are like bitch i don't believe you i got well, bad dj friends i'm not gonna go that far oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh the not question was marriage far. i forgot the, okay. the question was what who would you never be with? Like you, I've you, never slept with now. You going into it's, it's, it's no. too easy? Like nah, like you know how how dudes be like like. You know how certain dudes be like, if I was really smashing her, you would have never seen me well. You feel me? So it's like, I know that some part. girls probably don't believe me when I say, you know, for all the parties and stuff and events that I host, I've never slept with a DJ. It's like, girl, I would never, I would never do that. You see me, you see me with the nigga. I don't, I don't do that. I don't do that. That's, that's true. So <laughs> that's I, true. if you see me with him, nah, probably not. Probably I did, not. I did, I, I did dabble once, but you yeah. ain't never seen me with Yeah, that. okay. Well, I mean, there's some professions well, you, you would just not marry. <laughs> You might not end up a notice. <laughs> oh, isn't that fun when like no one else knows in the room but you two or something like that? Yeah, I love that. I love that vibe. You I know what that makes that me want to sing? Did anybody see ya? Huh? Come, Come into, into my house last <laughs> night. Why would I put your number in my people? Ooh, what that you want to do with everything I like? like. All right. Okay, oh, I love it, honey. <laughs> <laughs> I do like it, it's too. It's that little energy, that little sexual tension. Right, but also I feel like I don't be wanting everybody in my business. And yeah. also I feel like when people know that you're seeing someone or dating somebody, that then they start watching for your interactions like, yeah, with that do. person. Yeah, if they you're do. in public and I'm just like, mm, I don't want the I don't I don't want the pressure. Like yeah. I don't I don't want the pressure. For Especially sure. if you were if you were to date like say another another media personality mm -hmm. or DJ or athlete or whatever, because you're also in the public space. It's like, ugh, like everybody's fucking watching us now. Yeah. Like it is a we lot. gotta be on our, that's why Hollywood couples have the time that they have because it becomes like, 
a spectacle and everybody is watching y'all. And I don't that's like why, that. I don't like it. You know? I like us just being in our space, being yeah. cool, vibing out. Nobody knows. Once you do know, you're fucking two years late to the party. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Or pregnant, like you I know? did. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> they were like, I didn't even know. Well, now you know because now I wanted you, know. you to. Right. Absolutely. Anywho. I don't know how we got to but that DJs, subject. Um what Wait, I want to I want to like ponder on this a little bit. What other what other professions though? They like, say would like you not date? Mm, mm. They say I think they're calling officers. themselves they say police officers. I think they're calling themselves um I think they're nightlife marketers now. Oh, like not promote oh promoters. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, not promoters. Nightlife <laughs> Okay, I okay. like that term. I like it. I like it. It's all about that. It's all about that in 2022. It's all about the it, 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 it's, it's all about remix, the remix. Okay, it's all about it's, the marketing. It's all about no. It's all about the remix. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, probably not a probably not the best idea. Probably I, not a good idea not, to date someone don't, whose job very ghetto would not, would recommend. not recommend. I don't like you zero know, stars on Yelp. Zero stars on the on the nightlife marketer as far as marriage 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 that was the question um uh professional yeah i'm just asking i'm like nightlife marketers professions that you would not marry they also say police officers and firefighters yeah that is true that is you know why they claim that those men in those professions have a god like complex Mm -hmm. and are used to using some sort of aggression or Mm -hmm. force Mm -hmm. in their careers that it may carry over into their personal life i knew i can i can see it i knew a teacher that was dating a police officer once and their schedules were so out of whack that she never really saw him like you know when he was working she was sleeping when she was at school he was at home sleeping type thing and then and then get this he was cheating with his partner of course of course. Did you hate it when that happens in the movie because it was like so predictable, but it's like, ah. I'm so glad they didn't do that in Law and Order. <laughs> I would have been pissed if Olivia and Elliot yeah, started I, fucking around. I, I would have been so bad. I could never date. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm not, yeah, not my thing. So well, <sighs> yeah, it's not going to be a police officer for me. I don't really fuck with the pigs like that. I'm just going to be completely honest with you. That's all. I was going to move Thanks on. Thanks for from your this. service. Yes, I don't know, but yeah, not not my thing at not all. Not like in the bed with, but appreciate you in the neighborhood, bro. <laughs> not in my bed. No, ew. What are you doing? <laughs> <sighs> okay, so enough about professions that we don't want to marry. Let's talk about my favorite thing, the music. Let's talk about yes. the music. Really quickly, let's talk about the music because there's a lot of good music. We know when the weather changes, we want to turn it all the way up. We want to barbecue. We want to let the windows down and the sunroof back. I've personally been blasting the City Girls and Fabio. Top notch. You've been into the drill music vibe yes, as of late. Now, mind you, well, we we both know that drill music has been around for forever. Yeah. But it's like up right now. And I'm yeah. honestly here for it. I think the summer is going to be lit. Yeah, I'm here for New York, you know, stamping everything and having a good run. Um, Everybody I, wants their piece of the drill music everybody wants right the, now. Exactly. Everybody wants the feature. So, everybody wants the song. I just have to say the Nicki Minaj's drill record with Fabio, We Go Up, is insane. Like, I immediately want to be in new york i haven't been in new york in a minute i hear it's so different up there i'm trying to get up there and see what's going on you know right. post pandemic or whatever but nikki's we go up is just way too fire this is the nikki that we love she's having fun she's talking her shit like she's in her bag on this one and then and then sorry to say it but not sorry for cardi to be in her bag the way she is over the bronze drill record that she got out right now it's, it's just really dope. crazy it's a beautiful thing like to my ears just to see all of this like I'm so happy for them. And, of course, for Fabio Foreign, he is doing his thing right now, going market to market. Fabio Foreign is letting y'all know that he is an artist that is here to stay. Yeah. I think much like how they're not similar in artistry or, you know, how they do their music, but similar into how I thought about them when they first came on the yeah. scene. Young Blue and Fabio, I was like, mm, I don't really know. Like, I don't I don't know about this guy. Yeah. Like, and I then know. I love Young Blue's then, album. I, then the albums came yeah. and then that that's what convinced me. And I'm like, the features that he had up there, 
even though you know it's a lot of drill music it's it, it's a lot of different types of vibes um you said this he has stuff for the ladies up there yeah. he has a classic drill like for the new york homies the that's OGs, what i was telling Bobby. Like, i love that he sings to the ladies and you know my boyfriend really put me on drill music like you said been playing it for a minute before uh when pop smoke was here and i don't know I, I hear that that beat, you know, and I'm like, oh, this is a really grungy, this is a very hard beat, you know. So I was trying to catch the vibe of it like I do anything else that I'm hearing that's new to me. I was trying. And then when I finally listened to Pop Smoke's album, right, after his terrible, untimely death, right, I listened to the album and I loved the album. The yes. album was amazing. He was singing on there. He was slowing it down. He got the Spanish girl on the record. I don't even know what she's saying. I love that song. Love it. Love okay. it. He is we listen to that to so us. much in Mexico. <laughs> he has, right, he has so many different sounds on the album and I was like, oh my goodness, I love this. I get it. I get it. It's so much more to it and Fabio's doing a great job at one, being a great interview because I'm going to tell you, a lot of these new rappers, the interviews be the interviews. He's you doing TikToks saying? with y'all. He's doing it up. He's he, doing it, everything. He, I love he, it. He, He's very, he's, he's very laughing, good. He's laughing, he's smiling. Yes, he's very, he's, he's giving the tea. He's giving exclusives, you know what I mean? And he, he's doing a great job, but also letting everyone know he's, you know, he's here to stay and that there's much more to drill. Because I know, um, you know, it, some people try to say certain things about drill music or whatever on the negative side, but he's like, look, we trying to show y'all is much more to it. And you know, the other shit get boring. The beef it and fight, that shit get boring somewhere. Like, let's let's have a good time. Let's turn up. Let's have people out here okay. doing a dance because it's fun. You know what I mean? Right. So Did you hear what fun. he said about um, clearing? Um, the oh yeah, Beyonce. Beyonce <laughs> sample. How she was like, I right, you ain't gonna be, you ain't gonna be talking, talking about the about girls. It. You ain't gonna be out there talking about the girls like that when right. they say my name. Get them together, right Queen B. That's okay. exactly what they need. They Beyonce told far. him he had to clean. He had to clean it up, so he cleaned and it up. You know what? That's better for him it. because now that's a record that you know. Not only is it going crazy with this with the challenge on TikTok, but you know, radio, and it just makes it a the longevity of the song lasts longer when it's a little less nasty because yeah. the original you know that he was trying to put out was a little less nasty. He has Queen Aja and Coyle Ray on that record as well, and so longevity for them with that record would be a great thing. Coyle Ray's doing her thing big lotto is doing her thing like can we talk about big lotto's Let's album talk about lotto's project trying not to talk about lotto's album but we need to talk about lotto's album lotto is the youngest in charge she's up next that's Listen. point blank period it's getting I boss love, bitch i love the project because i feel like she also has a bunch of different sounds like she's singing yeah. on sunshine with yes. lil wayne yes and who kills that verse yes then she has like a super like hard core record with nardo wick mm -hmm. like which i really really like she has 21 savage up there yep. like she has Lil dirk up there i love like a thug and i really can listen to that project all the way through and be like she stayed true to like that southern atlanta sound yeah but still did her thing with she the did vibes. her thing she has uh pharrell and the neptunes on there with um you just lost a rabbit. Yeah. Right oh my God. That sound, the Death Tuesday really, really did their thing. Um, and I knew Pharrell was on it as soon as it dropped. And that's what I love about him. But f kudos to you, Lotto, for working so hard and putting out that album. And then she had the Queen Mariah Carey on the remix. Mm. 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 It's a big energy. Now, it's a lot of young female rappers doing their thing right now, but. You know, I don't we got just Mariah gotta, Carey on, on Mariah the record. Mariah Carey is on Lotto. I don't have the Mariah Carey on the record. It's different. It hit different. And listen, having a Nicki Minaj feature is big right now because Nicki Minaj doesn't have features with a lot of artists. So to have a feature with her is big. But Mariah Carey, Mariah Carey? has features with even fewer artists. Do so you, it's just like... Do you think they had to explain to Mariah though? Like, okay, this is... um. Absolutely, 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 absolutely. She it's all no, good though. It's she all good. She was she down. No she cleared idea it. She, was. she cleared she it. She had no idea. However, she liked her. Okay. Another little mulatto girl. It's okay, girl. Good. We the lattos. We the lattos. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. <laughs> Speaking of a Nikki feature, we know what it can do to your career and help Bia a great deal. But now Bia has a new record with J. Ooh. Cole. She's in London. Oh, you hoes. You hoes can't even spell London. I don't even comprehend. I don't even under... I don't like people who don't like that record. I'm going to be <laughs> really? honest. I don't like people who I don't like the record. I you have to be don't honest. Don't say it. I played it over and over and over you don't again. Like until it? I felt it. Until I felt it. I did have to play it a couple times. I did have to play it a couple times. And J. Cole is, you know, further into the record. So, you, I had to play it. I didn't know where the accent came from. I had to play it a couple times. I'm there, though, because I love her and I wanted to catch the vibe. And I will say and J. Cole 
Cole does sell it, does does sell it for you for sure, for sure, yeah. for sure. Like he made that record. I couldn't, I couldn't I believe London. he sounded so good. And he said he wasn't doing any more features, but like, he, I wonder what made him do a feature with. He talked yeah. about it. He talked about it, and he said that she played him the record a long time ago, and it became like his favorite song. And then one time she, like, not too long mm. after that, she sent it to him, and he was like, "Oh my god, you sent it to me! Like, it's my favorite song." And she was like, no, I want you to get on it. And he said at first he was, you know, kind of hesitant because he loved it the way it was and he didn't want to mess it up. But I'm like, you're J. Cole. Mess it up. How could you do that? You cannot ever mess up a record. He slides on everything. Um, so shout out to Bia and J. Cole for that record because that's pretty damn dope. You know who are my two favorite collaborators ever in the entire world together on a song? Oh, who? J. Cole and 21 Savage. Oh, yes. How much money you get? First of all, I love 21 Savage on anything, anything that 21 Savage Savage she is does, on. Like I am lot. fucking listening to it. I love 21 Savage, but like him and J. Cole together, I'm I'm just Well, that's sold. how I feel about Pusha T and Jay-Z. Okay. And here they are, once again. Once again! <laughs> I love when Pharrell hooks up with the dope boys and they start talking that Listen, shit. Listen, Pusha said Pharrell, he calls it like he composes. Listen, I love it's a composition. neck and wrist. I love neck and wrist. Hove sounds it's just what can you say what can i say i'm biased so. i don't care what anyone says about our guy pusha t the man knows how to make a good song listen every time when he gets with the right people as well it's well, even better especially when he's with pharrell and hove because they're going to talk that shit you That's know just, you have to because you're on a record with hove i really I really like it. i really really like neck and wrist it's like the way my neck is slowly jerking reminds me of mm -hmm. my other favorite thing mm -hmm. to do mm -hmm. and so i really like that song um okay chris brown dropped the record warm embrace yes he did we did. talk about this already we didn't talk about warm embrace grab you in chris brown can do no wrong in my eyes musically he can do absolutely no wrong i love every song we love chris when's Mar the last Maurice time brown? you've heard a bad chris brown song i when? don't know when? my favorite thing to do sometimes is to cut on chris brown radio on whatever streaming platform because you're gonna get songs you haven't heard in a long time and brand new songs you never fucking heard of in your life because he has so many songs <laughs> on his albums That's that true. you probably missed the 47 ones be honest and these so, are the only songs we know a, of it's such a fun right it's such a fun um, record Lil Baby dropped right on and in a minute Lil Baby I'm by I love right on I love him he can't do no wrong to me zero his name is Dominique he was born in December he's basically me in, in I a really, male form because if I could rap I would I would be Lil Baby if I could pick we're gonna remember be when you was cousins watching TV you'd be like oh that's me oh that's me yes I would be like yes. oh that's me I'm Lil Baby yeah <laughs> <laughs> my name's Dominique too <laughs> Hi, Dominique. Um, Lil Dark can't that. talk about Lil Baby we're gonna talk about Lil Dark Lil Dark's album she I have Petty too yes I have yes. Petty too on my playlist oh, of course you do of course you do Um, and I like the fact that Lil Dark let that little uh, TikTok viral lookalike kid in his latest video did you see it? It's so cute. Oh, yeah. He looks yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought I that, like that that was dope. So, yes, I like Dirk because he's a street Chicago street rapper, but he loves his girl. He, and, and I feel like sometimes. Up nice. he yeah, up niggas. Nice. Yes, he does. I think niggas forget that. Hello, it's, it's cool to love your girl. You post you post to talk about your girl all the time. By the right. way. Hello. By you, the way. If you don't want to talk about your girl all the time, then, you know, why is she your girl? Hey, I have to bring up Chloe. Tree like a tree. Why? You don't like that song? I thought you would love that song. The message is everything. Treat me like you treat booty, 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 rock it everywhere. Miss New Booty. You're not feeling it. You're not dancing. Sorry, I love guys. It. Treat me, baby. Sorry, guys. I the song's cool. I'm not saying it's a bad song. Like, I'm not gonna say that. I'm just not a fan. I love Chloe. And it's not about it has nothing to do with like the the you know the conversation on social media right with her like trying to be sexy or whatever i think that's great for her i think she looks amazing yeah she looks i good. always feel like hot and bothered whenever i see her and i'm like that's exactly how i feel like i should feel mm -hmm. i don't know but musically you're not getting it i'm not I like I'm not turning it on in the car that's like fine. i'm not getting in the car i'm not going to i want to hear treat me by chloe it's not going down that's fine I like Chloe because I she's, making, she's making pop music. And I like that yes. she's a black girl and she's in this land where she's making pop music. She's not trying to be Jasmine Sullivan or Summer Walker or SZA or Janae Aiko. Right. It's a Chloe song. It, you got to catch the vibe. Some people don't like Doja Cat. I love Coach. If you get the vibe 
or you don't. But I do like the space that she's in because she's making pop music. She's making Gaga, Beyonce pop music. She's not making making. You know, nigga come over the crib and fuck me real good music. She's saying, treat me like you, <laughs> treat me like I treat me because you know I do it right. Okay. I like that. Because you know I, I do like it that. Right. She got the little booty booty. So I like that. I like the space that she in, that she's in. I thought it was interesting too that Normandy dropped a new song too. Yes, yeah, she did. <laughs> so unfortunately, unfortunately. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. And once again. again, once again, I'm here to say love her. Love the vibe. Love what she stands for. I think she's a very <laughs> talented artist. I really, really do. I really, really do. But I'm not. I love her. I'm I love not the vibe. into it. <laughs> I'm not into it. But you know, it. we're laughing. What's but the new song honestly, called? Um, I don't know. It's like far, fair. Fair. Fair, 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 fair. fair, fair. No, but what people have to understand like is you can actually like feel that way about artists. Like actually, I yeah. think they're talented. I'm just not that. Music is about feeling. So that way when people are critiquing certain songs, it's like, I don't think they suck as a person or as anything. I definitely don't think I they suck. I just not playing that. I'm not playing that right now. And point. I love that um, Normani is like this dark skinned black girl who is like so beautiful who is like doing her thing in the pop space as well and she like has this like vibe and this mysterious about her no her I don't know yeah I was about to say I just she want her to show a little bit I just want her cause it's very mosaic like her She's well, very her face much, stays the same all the time. It's very I much think like we this. talked about that. Her face stays the same all the time. Like this it is never my changes. Face. But she has a mysteriousness about her that like I like. And I don't know, but sometimes it does come off very like label control. Like sometimes I don't think yeah, she's really being she's her. Just like, she's just like, I'm doing She wants to shake her ass and like Chloe, and Chloe's doing, doing it, and you guys are saying she's doing Dude, too much. Oh, anyway. Crank me up. And I just I just love this conversation because I always feel like I was like, um, if you didn't know, I felt like I was a part of every girl group that ever ever happened. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it's very <laughs> You never felt like that? Oh, my God. You never felt like you were I a part did, of the I, I did definitely think I was part of Destiny's Child 3 on I w definitely was. And I TLC. Was, where my Those girls were my at? Three. When the front to back. Is you feeling that? that? Pull one hand up. I was in every girl group. I was all to the side. I was like, me in the final cut. Promises, promises. Okay, but I was in the girl group. I would have been in the OMG girls if I was in 2 oh. That was my last time. Definitely chance. was seeing no more 3 <laughs> 0W. All of those things. Okay. But, um, is would, anyway. Do you think we would ever be in the space for a girl, girl group ever again? Like, would you oh, be into it? I always think about that. A girl group ever again. Do you think it would sell? Or do you think it's too cheesy now? Like, mm. would it sell? Would a girl group really sell? I don't know. I would love a to see one, it. A new one. A new one that we've see never seen. I would love to see it. Because you know what? It's harder than ever to get some bitches to like you. And they would have to have all the women on their side. And they would have to be like, oh my God, I love them. I love what they're singing. I want to be like them. I want to hang out with them. I love the way they dress. I feel like the group era is like done. Even for boy bands? Yeah. Like men? I love the fact that New Edition is going to get this tour money for the rest of their life. I love the fact that no, no matter how many times your auntie and your mama did have seen New Edition, and they're coming again, they're going again, they're coming again, they're going again forever. <laughs> I love yes. that for those men. And they look good when they're on stage because yes. I've, been, I've been to a show or two myself. So um, I don't know because like the B2K era, like. That's what Wild. I'm saying. Think about B2K, B5. Think about um, Immature. Maybe the boy bands. I mean, the BTS, the, the 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 guy, they're doing that. They're doing it. They're doing anything. Yeah, but it's not going up, up like it used to. Like, mm. the group music era went, like, crazy up. Everybody was doing a group. Diddy did about 20 of them. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? It was yeah. really, like, a thing. Yeah. Danity Kane. I feel like that was the last uh, girl group where we were like, yes. Maybe some people like the Pussycat Dolls. I don't know. I was more of a Danity Kane girl. Yeah, I definitely was a Danity Kane girl. Like That was the last girl group where we were like, yes. No, some people are saying that other girl group, because Kelly Rowland had a TV show, and they had a girl group that... But you had to watch the but show. But you don't even... What's their name? I don't know. See, exactly. <laughs> Maybe girl group era is gone. Maybe it's all about... What, okay, I think I saw a, a group out of Atlanta that's a three-girl group, a rap group. Okay, I follow them. Okay, I can't okay. remember their name. Um, they're I coming out. I do love out. what City Girls is doing with the, with the girl group. Because they are a group. 
They are a group. JT mm-hmm. is sliding. JT is just, and you know what? Yeah, that's all I'm saying on that. Um, <laughs> um, I'm sad then if the boy groups and the girl groups are not going to come back or unless we are going to go ahead and form a girl group. We could totally do that. You know what I would also be here for? I'm so for? glad to hear you say that. What? If Beyonce, Kelly, and Michelle just did a song. When is it going to happen? We know they're going to go on tour again. Do you again, think it's a but reason I don't be why you have fucking it? five uh, doing Survivor. So I would like for them to do the reunion tour a little sooner than that, please. I want a new song. Like, I just want a new song. It doesn't have, even have to be an album. I just want a single. And I'm trying to figure out why it won't happen. Y'all are always coming out to perform with each other all the time. Really? Can we get a new song? Just one? And none of that free. Freedom Rider, black <laughs> shit. I don't want to hear that shit right now. I really hope Beyonce's album is not that again. I don't want to hear that shit, Beyonce. Like I I'm know she's just doing it. that for Disney. I need some Runchy one stuff. one one. Okay, Beyonce B surfboard. Okay, writings on the wall. Yeah, that was a time reincarnated. That was a time. Destiny's Child. That's Writings what I on the need. wall. Oh wow! Yes, that's what I need. Okay, that's well, what I need. We're gonna I to, need that vibe. That's too. When you're saying no, no, no. Okay. I need that vibe. Writings on the wall. Lady, a girl can dream. A lady, ladies, leave your man at home. <laughs> The, the club, club is full of ballers and their pockets full of grown. I know you see me watching you. And, and I, I see you watching me. me. Woo! Hey, ladies, why is that? We just go to us. Uh, why is that? <laughs> oh, no. Right Come on the wall. Oh. Can you pay my... Now, we should all relate to that. As much as y'all to talk about niggas paying y'all bills. You and through. Wow. I'm just saying. Can I do one more? Sweet 16. <laughs> sweet 16. I was going to do. I was going to do. I know you see me watching you. And I see That's you what I'm watching. saying. <laughs> I got to go. I'm going to go play that. It's calling me. Oh, come Temptation on. Temptation is killing me. Oh, Missy was on that track. Oh, come on. Can mm-hmm. we get a writers for the wall, everybody? Mm-hmm. Thank you so much for joining us today. But wait. I think we want to try. What? Before we go. Before we go. Before we go. Don't ever forget. What? Confessions. Mm-hmm. Man, it pissed me up. I told Mike to pick me up and told him you was bugging, and I don't like to fuss. What? I forgot some words. Did you hear that? Go down fuss. with it. Fuss. <laughs> no, it's like, and then he invited me, in. and you know it went down after that. We need another writing. You on the know wall. it went down. Then when she took the car to on the shot spray. Anyway, Ooh, we anyway. need another writings on the wall, honey. A girl can can. Oh, do- speaking of real quick, taking of someone a shopping spree. I don't know if you watched a bit of the Kardashians where Chloe's sitting there talking to Tristan, and he's like, "Oh, you've never, uh, you know." She's like, "You know, I can be a monster to you when I want to," and he's like, "Oh, thankfully you never have." And she was like okay and then he was like i mean so when you were pregnant she was like yeah when i was pregnant i poured water on your clothes water who's gonna tell her you can learn a few things from lisa left eye <laughs> burn the fucking house down bitch what the fuck is water gonna do bitch it's not gonna do nothing but dry who's gonna tell her <laughs> you you could at least do some red kool-aid water <laughs> you could have mixed up could you imagine a mix a bitch mixing some red Kool-Aid and be like pouring it on your Water? Face? Water? He's supposed to ransack his house. Well, that's why he be doing anyway. I'm gonna be quiet. Anyway, girl, the water just won't do. We gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of the Unfiltered Podcast. Say hey, friends, if they cool, and we'll holler at you later. Love ya. Mean it. Peace. <laughs>